as is the case with most businesses in Nigeria, we need funding to scale. Because in terms of um, ideas, in terms of talent, in terms of innovation, we have all of that. But it's actually getting, accessing the funding to scale our businesses. I need to scale my publishing house. My, my publishing house is uh, particular in the sense that we harness local creativity content. So I'm, you know, the publisher that has discovered a, a, a number of best-selling Nigerian authors who are now signed to international global publishing houses. But I'm unable to do that and I'm unable to retain my authors and retain my talent because I don't have the money. I discover them, I invest in their in their career, and they go to like a Harper Collins or like a big publishing house in the UK. So that's those are the areas that we really need support. We need government policy that is stable, that is consistent, that understands the struggle of the business and gives that support. And then we need funding and how we can scale our businesses and grow our businesses. The supports I as a person and also talking in general, we need to grow our businesses here. Structure, infrastructure, funding especially, because if you want to do something or even if you want to scale, you need funds. Quite a number of times um, we use personal funds, what you get from family and friends, because at times you want to get a loan and the interest rates are not friendly or the process is just so unnecessarily tedious. And I just feel that if we had more access to, to funding, I mean like grant support schemes, even from the government, from um, some of these other big organizations and all, would be able to go further and it will impact other families, other businesses as well. When I look at um, engaging artisans, I look at artisans as are really not just passionate, not just only skillful, but you know they, they really need the finance that um, comes with engaging them on a project. You know, so some of them are people that um, I've had to look at how to place them on, um, give them health insurance, and also give them some like we call it in. Nigeria pension, you know, I'm beginning to look at those kinds of programs for the pro um, artisans I work with to help them understand that, see, if this work, this textile art is not just about the art, we also care about how your life, how you benefit, how your entire life benefits from the skill that you have. It's not just about taking from you, taking your skill, but also we look at how to make their lives beneficial. So sometimes you have to intervene in, you know, health. You've got to give health interventions to people that fall ill or maybe they need money to send to, oh, I need to, some little loans. I've had to give out um, micro loans to some of these people to maybe send their children to school and they don't have money to feed, you know, and in turn they use that um, to, they use um, that as um, money to produce um, products. Mm -hmm.